G'day all, it's Colin from PC TLC and thanks for joining me. In this video we're going to be looking at Q4 OS 3.12 with the Trinity desktop environment. Um, I chose that one because that was the, the lightest one. Q4 OS is based on Debian and can we install and get our applications with Q4 OS having downloaded the ISO and install applications for less than 900 megabytes. Let's check out Q4 OS. So here we have uh, Q4 OS. Q4 OS is a fast and friendly desktop oriented operating system based on Debian Linux, providing a set of dedicated utilities and specific optimizations, combined with a focus on getting a productive system easily. This makes it ideal for people who want to get a working environment tailored to individual needs and preferences. From this perspective, Q4 OS is suitable for both newcomers as well as experienced computer users. Okay, uh, why Q4 OS? It's lean and fast. Q4 OS performs faster and more efficient, doesn't exploit memory and computing resources, rock stable. The goal is to provide a long-term supported system receiving security updates. This is exactly what Debian Base guarantees. Okay, so that's Q4 OS, download. And I've downloaded the Q4 OS Trinity Live, 697 megabytes. And if we have a look at Q4 OS, that's Trinity Desktop, TDE, 730, 697 here. Okay, so they do vary sometimes. So let's check out Q4 OS. So let's get started with Q4 OS, Q4 OS Live. So here we have the Trinity desktop Q4 OS welcome screen. Let's go to control panel and sort this. Um, let's sort the display out in, in uh, control panel and peripherals display. 1920 by 1080, it's already set. Okay, so I just changed it to something different, then changed it back to that, and all is good. So here's the Q4 OS welcome screen. Let's install Q4 OS. So they're using the Calamari's installer, Australia Perth, yep. Uh, that's just a raised disk and install. Let's go next, and that's what it'll do. That's install. So that's an easy install. And that's complete. We will restart the system and check out Q4 OS. Username and password. So we are asked to select default desktop environment. So the lightweight and efficient Trinity desktop is installed and pre-configured as default at the moment. Nevertheless, Q4 OS installer has auto detected your computer is powerful enough to operate more advanced KDE Plasma. So at the moment we will um, keep it on Trinity. So yes, I forgot this about uh, Q4 OS, you have to choose a desktop um, profile. So it looks like if we choose the full featured desktop with web browser offer suite, um, we don't know how much that's going to install, do we? So for 600 and something megabytes, we still have to download this stuff here. Because we are installed, we're not installing now. We're We've already used the ISO to install. The ISO is not connected, so we're going to have to download this stuff. So yeah, that's not exactly um, sort of um, complete with the minimums, is it? So you've got basic, minimal desktop, and you've got to install. So this one here is recommended for regular users, full featured desktop with web browser, offer suite, and recommended application set. Installation can take a while. The basic is starting configuration for users who want to install desktop applications of their choice. Lightweight, slim desktop with common utility, system tools and libraries. Um, ultimate, 
ultimately minimal desktop for experts only minimal desktop you'll be free to set anything up by yourself all right yeah that's a bit of an issue as well isn't it for um if we want under 900 megabytes with the most basic full featured so let's install that anyway and see whether we can get an idea on what it's downloading and how much it would be very hard to tell wouldn't it and that is the install of desktop profiler complete let's finish that off and check it out congratulations setup is finished so there's our welcome screen run desktop profiler install applications install proprietary codex that's optimized for VirtualBox uh, let's get rid of that let's go to um, the control panel and peripherals display change it to anything accept that and then change it back to 1920 by 1080 accept that okay so what do we have after that let's check it out applications accessories edutainment mathematics formula editor science games arcade card games and minesweeper okay graphics we have photo management digicam image viewer paint program screen capture program drawing program program internet we have google chrome web browser conqueror and thunderbird multimedia audio player amarok clementine music player volume control vlc disk burning xf burn office we have uh, looks like full libre office suite there that's handy and then we have settings and so forth system and some utilities screen and magnifier clipboard manager desktop pager calculator okay so there's quite a fair bit of stuff there the question remains how much did we download i'm going to go back through that profiler screen uh, the um profiler desktop profiler installer screen and see if i can find anything that uh, can lead me down the path of how much we downloaded and i'll leave uh, maybe a couple of screenshots up just before we finish this off well here we go i didn't see that fetched 618 megabytes in three minutes wow i didn't even know my internet worked that fast <laughs> so 680 megabytes um, after downloading 600 and something so you're up to 1.2 gig already so that um, defeats the purpose of downloading under 900 megabytes and then you need to download again another 600 megabytes so okay so we're on the second install here of q4os thought i'd do another install and see what the basic desktop brings us because the uh the full featured one is a little bit on the high side a lot higher than we would want it to be so let's just try the basic one and see what we get from that i think the minimal one's probably a little bit out of the question at least the basics got all the system tools and libraries available so we'll see how we go so as you can see here at this point um, it's downloading an oxygen icon theme which is uh, 30 odd megabytes in itself okay so that's finished couldn't quite see what happened there as far as how much we downloaded so i'm going to have to run that video back and see if i can find out the information i went through a little bit too quick for me that did okay so there it is there we have so it needs to get 72.6 megabytes of archives after this operation 272 megabytes of additional disk space will be used so it looks to me like 72 megabytes you cannot check the size of the disk with the df-h command because you don't have a desktop until you run the profiler that's that's one of the problems there 
But I have to think 72.6 megabytes is what we installed there. So Q4 OS was downloaded at 730.9. So we're already up to about 804 megabytes. So we've got about 95 megabytes to install applications. Probably still not ideal, but let's have a look at what we can do here anyway. Install applications here. So we've got some applications here we can install. I don't know if it tells us how much it is to install. So let's just try that anyway. If we double click that, yeah, it does, it, it starts running. You can double click it or you can also click install application up there. So uh, Mozilla Firefox setup wizard. Let's see what that does. Doesn't give any indication of how much it's going to download that I can see. Let's click install. Looks to me like it's 61 megabytes in size. That would be about right for Firefox, I think. So just installing Firefox alone has sort of just about blown out our megabyte usage already. And that's on the absolute minimum there. So there's no way you can use the full desktop profiler. That was the basic one. And I think if you do minimum, you're still going to have to install libraries and so forth anyway. So, yeah, we're sort of uh, a little bit away from it here with the uh, Q4OS. Lightweight distro, though. Lightweight desktop, the Trinity desktop. Let's just see what we're running while we're installing anyway, HTOP. And we're running three, 366 megabytes. Still pretty good anyway. But I cannot see us getting all these applications, including LibreOffice or an Office Suite, installed for less than 30 megabytes for the rest of it. It's just not going to happen. I think even if we run it with the no install recommends, I think we'll still be struggling. And the problem here is the size of the ISO out of the box, which is 730 odd megabytes already. Yeah, it's always going to be, if it's 730 megabytes and it doesn't have applications already installed, it's going to be a struggle, really, at the end of the day. And they've got like a Windows wizard uh, for installing there. It gives some sort of uh, ex-Windows users some fami familiarity. Let's finish that. So that's Firefox installed, but uh, yeah, we're going to be struggling to be installing anything else. So if we was to try the um, no install recommends and install VLC, Evince, Quadlibet and Caligra, that gives us a video player, music player, document viewer and an office suite. And we've already got Firefox. So if we try installing anyway, give this a go uh, with the no recommends, VLC, Evince, Quadlibet, Caligra and Gthumb. We've already got Firefox, so let's check that out. And what do we need? We need to get 89.8 megabytes of archives. Yeah, we're, we're over and it's a little bit the same as Myo Linux. We're over, but only just over anyway. Uh, maybe I should have done the Firefox with the no install recommends as well, but having only 90 megabytes to play with, and even without Firefox, we're already over. And Q4OS is not a bad little system there anyway. Let's just click no on that. So Q4 OS with the Trinity desktop, not quite there. It was um, a little bit more than 900 megabytes in total. Desktop profiler was a bit of a sticking point because that downloads quite a fair bit. Uh, I think the biggest sticking point of it all was the, the ISO size of about 30, 730 megabytes. I think that's what sets us back a fair bit is the, um, the ISO size, to be honest. But the Trinity desktop, not a bad desktop, light, based on Debian, rock solid, so no problems there. Definitely the no install recommends command uh, does help out in, in these situations, but it still didn't quite get us over the line or keep us under the 900 megabyte threshold. There's one thing I've found with this um, lightweight distro journey 
and, and you know, I've discovered a lot of things that a lot of these distros are, are quite good distros anyway. And I can see that they all serve a purpose, especially for a lot of people who are not so fortunate and they've got fairly old hardware. A lot of these distros would be very handy, I must say. So that was Q4OS 3.12 with the Trinity desktop environment for the lightweight distro challenge. Almost under the 900 megabytes, but just that little bit over. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting and informative. And thanks for watching.